Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gamer here. So after getting numerous requests for my on-screen display function of GPU power draw monitoring, I've decided to do a sort of tutorial to how to explain how to enable this function. I just want to give a disclaimer here. This isn't a function that's available for all graphics cards. Depending on the age and the type of graphics card, it may not be available for you. So to my experience only, um, the AMD RX 400 series and above works and the NVIDIA 1000 series is compatible with this function possibly the 900 series as well but I have tried as low as a GTX 780 Ti and was not successful with this function so what you're seeing here is the Witcher 3 at 3440 by 1440 um, maxed out and as you can see in my power draw is around 278 watts to 280 to watts so um, along with all the other GPU monitoring information um, this is a specific function that most people are, seem to be interested in so I'm going to show you how to enable this function okay guys so I'm going to go through the method of how I display the GPU power draw what you first need to do is download HWinfo64 now this is a system monitoring application that also is compatible with Reva Tuna Statistics Server. Now this is the program that displays all the information um, which is also monitored by the monitoring software. This also works with MSI Afterburner. I'll leave a link in the description for all of this software just to make it a little bit easier for you. So the first thing you want to do is to identify your GPU. Now I'm going through, that's my memory. You can see my motherboard there just going through my hard drives and eventually I get to GPU and zero NVIDIA so that's in regards to my NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti now all you have to look for is the kind of lightning bolt icon so the two icons are ones for GPU core voltage and ones for GPU power ignore the core voltage um, option you want to be looking at GPU power so as you can see it's got a W at the, at the end of it and it's measured in watts now you can double click this as you can see my card is currently sitting well technically kind of in idle but it is using enough power to do to use Nvidia Shadow Play so I'm currently using around 24.87 watts so my card's pretty much in idle just to demonstrate that this is GP power I'm just going to quickly put up a demo so this is Unigine Valley it's going to quickly run this in window mode And as you can see here, power draw has jumped all the way up to 188 watts. Now this is relatively low for GTX 1080 Ti, but this is window mode and 720p. So just giving you an example of this is the metric that we're going to be using. Okay, so now that we've established that, what you need to do is you, you first what you want to do is name the field um, what you want to call it. I generally call mine GPU power draw. So you want to do is click on this cog icon here to configure your sensors and you want to go to the custom tab. Let's move this over here. And again you have to identify your NVIDIA GPU field or your AMD GPU field, whatever GPU you're using. So that's my CPU information, that's my memory information here, my motherboard information, my hard drive information and eventually we arrive at my GPU information so at this point in time the GPU power field which monitors the power draw is called GPU power that's the original name I wanna rename this GPU power draw now I personally write all my stuff in capitals because it fits um, all the other fields of information that I'm monitoring obviously you can name it to whatever you wish and however you wish to name it so click rename here as you can see that's been done now it says GPU power draw and the units measured in what so you can click OK so now what you want to do to make this um, appear in your your on-screen display you need to do something else. I just want to quickly show you now that this information is still not going to be displaying in your games without you actually enabling this field in um, Reva Tuna Statistics Server. So what I'm going to do is just cancel that now. 
you need to go back into the settings um, tab and what you then need to do is go to OSD which is RTSS which stands for Rebutuna Statistic Server and OSD obviously stands for On Screen Display so you click that once again you find that GPU field my one's pretty much very far down just, just after my my uh, hard drive so I can find it again GPU NVIDIA 1 so I go to GPU power draw so this is what we call the field now what you want to do now is show value in on screen display so this will show you the metric but you also need to put show label now your label is whatever you've called that field if you don't enable if you don't check this box it will literally just show 158 watts or whatever your power draw from your GPU is without actually naming the field the positioning is all down to you I personally have mine in line 2 in column 1 so it's right beneath all my other information so I'm going to enable this now now as you can see when I run Unigen Valley once more you can see GPU power draw and the statistics in real time so as you can see now it's drawing 193.5 watts and that's also in line with this so it does change in real time if I close this application down you'll see my GPU drop back down to it's close to idle um, power draw so that's going to drop all the way down to around about 27 watts takes a little while but it eventually updates so that's pretty much it guys I'm not going to explain how to do my full on-screen display I do have a separate video for that so if you are interested in how I uh, monitor all the other information I'll give you a link to that separate video here hopefully this helped a few of you guys out just want to make sh make one more point again this is not a feature that works with every single GPU only a select amount of GPUs actually have this function available from my experience um, the RX 400 series from AMD and and above work and the NVIDIA well, 1000 series are also compatible with this um, GPU um, monitoring information maybe it will work on the 900 series I'm not too sure but I did try it with a GTX 780 Ti and it wasn't I wasn't able to do it so just bear that in mind hopefully this has helped out guys just leave any comments in the description or the comment box if you have any questions and I'll try and help you out further thanks for watching the sky we finna light it up we ain't never coming down see the people showing love say what's up when I'm around they were saying it was love but we see them in the crowd now we're too young to give a fuck all we know is that for now I said what's up what's up